Hi everyone, this is Shukesh Bunik once again and welcome you to the third episode of the Hidden Tips and Tricks review series on this amazing Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I got great response from you guys on the first two episodes and I am telling you guys this third episode is going to be more interesting, more enjoyable. Unquestionably Note 4 is the smartest and most feature rich phone at this moment. This is what I call a true smartphone. Now before I start with the review, the wallpaper I am using is called Cookie HD Optic Ball and unfortunately it's no longer available on the Play Store. Check the description below for the download instructions. Well first of all I'll show you some amazing tricks on the messaging app and then I will discuss about the multitasking features. The messaging experience with this huge device is excellent, especially with the S Pen. Normally you get the keyboard for typing when you operate the phone with your hand but if you tap with your S Pen, you get the handwriting pad right away. The handwriting recognition is also as good as it can be. Now there are some gestures you can apply like to concatenate these two words you can draw something like this and to separate just swipe in between the words. You can also make corrections and striking from right to left can delete a part of a word. For a new line just draw the enter sign. It's as simple as that. When you have your S Pen with you, you can do magic on this note 4. For example, if you hover your S Pen on the enter recipients field, you get a small T icon. Tapping on this will bring down a new handwriting window for your S Pen. This trick works on any text input area for example on the contacts menu, on the browser etc. Now just select the contact. Next if you just hover your S Pen on the add contacts icon you get the drop down of your recent contacts. There is no need to visit the contacts menu. Now if you find the text on your messaging app is too small, you can increase the font size. Just tap on the volume rocker and this works anywhere on the messaging app. You can also pinch. Text size can be increased here as well. You might know that with the help of the air view feature you can read a preview of the messages. No need to tap and open this. Now sometimes you get links you don't have any idea about. So what you can do is with the help of the air view feature, you can get a preview of the web content without the risk of opening this. It's such a nice feature guys. You can read a preview, check images and you are also not leaving your messaging app. When people are around you and you don't want them to see something embarrassing on your phone, you can also utilize this feature. There is a priority senders field as well and tapping on this will enable you to write a message on the go. You will also get new messages notifications there. To enable this field just hit the settings and check these priority senders. Well the continuous input is the fastest way of writing on this note 4 and with the help of the one handed operation you can minimize the keyboard to your right. I'll show you that on the later episodes and let me quickly give you a demo of the numerical hotkey features that is you can just press and hold and get some pre-assigned text for example web pages, names and frequently used phrases and also abbreviations, a complete sentence and basically anything you register. But my suggestion is assign keyboard symbols and punctuation marks. I hate to visit the symbols keyboard every time I need this. Well guys now let me show you how to enable all of these features. First of all hit the settings and then on the keyboard swipe you will find the continuous input. Next to assign text to the numerical keys check this my hotkeys and assign text to all the numerical keys from 0 to 9. To get the handwriting pad right away when you have your S Pen in your hand just check this pen detection. Now as you know you get new messages notifications on the notification center but when you get multiple notifications you can just swipe with two fingers and check a preview of all the messages at once. You can also pinch. This trick also works on whatsapp and gaming notifications so don't waste time in opening those applications to check unnecessary messages. Well guys now let me show you some important options on the messaging settings you should check. 
First of all, the phone automatically deletes your old messages when the maximum number of messages per conversation is reached. So you should consider disabling this in case you want to keep your messages. Now while writing a message, if you hover your S Pen over the attach option, you get your recent images from the gallery. Just like the way you got your recent contacts on the add contact option at the top. Now from the menu there is also another very handy option. You can schedule your messages like birthdays, anniversaries etc and the phone will automatically send the text you have set. I personally find this feature quite useful. Well that's all I have for you on the messaging app. If I find any more interesting feature on this app then I'll show you that in the later episodes. If you think my videos are different and really helpful to you then please consider subscribing if you are not already subscribed. I put lots of efforts in making these videos so it will be great if you share this video with your friends as well. Now guys I'll discuss about the versatile multitasking capability of this great Note 4. One of the main reasons you are getting this phone is this huge display and the super powerful processor. This help not only in gaming and movies but you can truly multitask just like the way you can on your PC or Mac. There is basically no meaning of carrying such a huge device if you don't get most of it. So be with me guys. Lots of your applications can be minimized just by swiping from either corner at the top. The camera is now just a floating window and you can move it anywhere you can continue your normal task and new pop-up windows can be launched as well. Maximum of 5 floating screens can be opened simultaneously on the screen and don't forget that all of these are running live on the screen. So just imagine how much powerful your Note 4 is. In fact I was able to open 15 applications simultaneously on the screen. If you want me to do a video on that, please comment below and let me know. Now there are different ways of getting these floating apps. For example, from the app switcher, if you just press and hold on the compatible applications, you can launch those in pop-up screens. A floating window can also help you with this type of multitasking and the third procedure is just press and hold the back key and launch the multi-window bar. Now instead of swiping, if you just tap on these apps, you can get the pop-up window right away. This is I think the best way to get this because you don't have to open these applications and swipe. So as you can see guys, the display is almost full but if you press the home button, all the applications will turn into floating app icons. You can now get back to your home and these icons can be moved anywhere on the screen. Suppose you are traveling and spending time playing a game. Then you can keep the camera icon on your gaming app and capture an image right away without any delay. So guys as you can see this is such a cool feature. Now if you want to get back to the icon view you can just tap on this and click here. No need to hit the home button. So you can launch the dictionary or calculator when you are on the browser. You can check your messages when you are using the camera and the icons here can be directly closed just by tapping and holding and swiping to the delete option. Now when an application is already opened and you want to launch another application right away without closing it, just tap on the apps on the multi window bar. I am telling you guys this is the best uses of this pop up screen feature. You can launch the calculator or check your messages and take notes with the S note. Now the most interesting part is you can tap and hold and swipe to the bottom to get the split view that is the multi window instantly. I'll talk about this multi window feature later on in this review so let's move on. You can also tap and hold and move up to get back the pop up view. So just knowing the features of Note 4 is not enough. You need to find out the best ways to get the most of this innovative and out of the box offerings from your Note 4. These pop-up screens can be swiped to the top or bottom to get the full screen view as well. Another great uses of this feature is you can share media from one to another. I have found three different ways to do that. First of all just tap and hold on the text and select the part you want to copy. Now tap and hold and drag and drop. It's as simple as that. Now the second procedure is by using the S Pen. As you know there is a new trick Samsung introduced with this new Note 4. If you tap and hold the button on the S Pen and swipe on the text, you can directly select. 
now just drag and drop you can quickly take notes just like so this is the fastest way of sharing and the third procedure is by using the direct move content option that means you can now just drag and drop no need to select copying images is now also easier if a text is already selected then the selected part will be copied only but a whole paragraph can be moved if the selection is not made previously so taking notes or sharing media is now quite intuitive as i mentioned before the pop-up keypad is a must here you can take notes you can move it anywhere and the handwriting pad has been launched because you are using the s pen to get this as you know just press and hold on the keypad and select this option guys the next multitasking feature i am going to talk about is the old and highly popular multi window feature as you know you can just tap and hold the back key and split the screen into two you must be familiar with this so let me just show you some important tricks you can save a combination of windows and just with a single tap you can get those pre-selected applications right away for sharing content this multi-window view is more intuitive than the pop-up screen view now the next trick is you can launch the same application on both of these windows that is you can launch browser at the top window and also at the bottom the interesting part is different tab opens in different windows so just open the two websites in two different tabs and compare you can also chat with two persons simultaneously though most of the applications don't support this now if you need to open a third application you can of course launch the pop-up window and a calculator a dictionary or the s note is quite handy here as you know you can also keep them floating on the screen as icons next just like the pop-up screens you can move content directly from one window to another all the three procedures can be applied you can also swap the screens and convert them into floating windows as i have shown before the windows can be resized as well so the multitasking capability of this new note 4 is just superb and highly optimized for this huge display you can also replace any window with another just swipe and drop in fact the previous application is still running in the background you can hit the back key to get back the previous screen you can also use the image clip feature to save content as you know this feature actually takes a screenshot and the interesting part is the screenshot is taken only of the window that is selected now you can drag and drop this to the top window for this you need to place the s note app there well friends that's all in this third episode in the upcoming fourth episode i'll discuss about the one-handed operation of this note 4 and also some system features so please don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch otherwise all of my efforts will go in vain this note 4 is beyond out the most feature rich and the only true smartphone at this moment in the market if you are thinking of getting one then do get it now you won't be disappointed if you haven't checked the first two episodes then do check those out you can find direct links in the description below you can also check my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal for some camera samples and gadgets portal dot in for a written review that's all in this review guys thanks for watching this is shukesh bonik and have a nice day